the dismal future red zone the hardest red zone today and one of the hardest events to run each stage back to back and it's talked about in the community for its lackluster design with four out of five of the fights being very similar and the last stage being the most difficult currently in the game due to unfair mechanics but we aren't here for a deep dive we are here for the dismal future red zone 200 percent category leader challenge and in this challenge we'll be taking every 200 percent leader in the game being dokkan fest and carnival ours in release order and running them straight through the red zone with some special rules Number one, we must run a double lead of the featured character in all of the stages. Number two, the team must contain characters that are under at least a 170% lead. Number three, if we lose a fight, we only get one retry and we restart on that stage. And number four, it must be a no item run, no items and no support memories. Can we clear this challenge? I mean, jeez, I really hope we can. I mean, come on, man. Hello everyone, so we have the year 8 GT Duo, and you know, we're just gonna hop right in this start off, because we, we can do all our waffling that we're gonna do, because you know we're gonna do, we can do all that um, as, we're, as we're in this stage here. Okay, we are going to get a couple intros quick though, um, but we have, yeah, 8th year GT Duo, it's gonna be hype, I hope you're ready. All right, I'm sure you noticed that there wasn't sound right away because uh, <laughs> it's just really unfortunate. It was kind of funny, but it's very unfortunate. Um, we're just gonna do we're just gonna do this because it did, like th this fight doesn't matter. It's not a real fight, so I'm not really worried about it. So, which is why I'm gonna use it for my yapping time. So, uh, we're running the GT Duo. Their leader skill is that was a little bit more damage. Than I thought they take their leader skill is uh, Battle of Fate and Power of Wishes, a very great category for like 170%. Power Wishes has tons of fantastic characters on it, like Orange Piccolo, like Balma, like God Goku, like uh, these guys here. Um, Battle of Fate also has other great characters. Yet again, Piccolo, Ultimate Gohan somewhat. Uh, the other people that are on Battle of Fate, there's a lot of characters on Battle of Fate, right? And then what sucks about him, though, is it's 30% because he gets you Shad Dragon Saga. LOL, there's going to be like no other unit worth running other than these guys for that, so... Just total L on their leader skill, I'm going to be honest. And then also they give 30% to final trump card, which not a lot of characters have that either. Uh, luckily here, uh, the Super Saiyan Trio have that. Um, they have that, obviously. I don't know if we're going to be getting the extra 200% a lot for this team, which is kind of what sucks here. Uh, but uh, one character that is on this team that you might notice that isn't on here, that you might be wondering, what? why isn't it? Where's 23rd World Tournament Goku? He's really good. Yeah, I do, I want to actually be able to get past Cell this run, so I didn't bring him with. All right, I'm mostly kidding about that. I think 23 World Tournament Goku is good, but unironically, I mean, I don't want to bring on this stage because he just, it'll take too long because he won't be able to get God mode, so I just don't want to wait around for that. And then, um, what's his name? I don't want to bring him at Cell either because he just gets pieced up way too fast against Cell. So I'm not bringing him for this first two fights. So if we get Goku Black onward, I will bring him. He is really good just as long as he doesn't actually, like as long as that super attack doesn't connect turn one, and also we're able to revive like he's good however there is one additional problem that he has which is that i like compared to the characters we can run i don't know if it's worth running him you might be like well but he's really good but they orange piccolo is better 
right? You'd be like, well, just don't replace him with Orange Pickle. Replace him with like Ultimate Gohan. Well, that's where you do another problem again, which is that Orange Piccolo needs a Bond and Master and Disciple character on the team to activate his intro. And the only, well, that's not true. There are two kind of only good Bond and Master Disciple characters that we could use to activate his intro on this team. One is Ultimate Gohan, who we obviously have here, and the other is Sword of Hope Trunks. Problem is, I do not own Sword of Hope Trunks. So it kind of limits our options to having to run him. And then it comes to, okay, well then, who am I going to replace him with? Am I going to replace him with, you know, right? Not these guys, for sure. I mean, they're definitely better. They're not slot one character, but they're definitely better than World Tournament, 23 World Tournament Goku. God Goku, maybe you could debate he's better, he's worse. That's where you're going to. Really, the only option to replace him with is God Goku. But my God Goku is rainbowed. And the only reason I really think World Tournament Goku sucks is because mine is, well... 55 percent very unlucky uh so that's pretty much just why we're not running him here i don't have enough dupes to be able to run him at a good enough level where it's actually worth it to replace him with the only character that he could be replaced with which is uh god goku god goku is definitely better at uh rainbow than god uh than 23rd is 23rd third goku is at 55 percent it's a shame but it's true uh, that said, like, you know, I'm not really missing out too much. We still have the revive, which we could use. Now we don't. Now we aren't encouraged to just have to pop it right when we get it, so that we could get World Tournament Goku, you know, to max. Like that's not something we really need to worry about. Not that usually that's like a big problem. Like usually when you can revive, you're usually in a bad enough spot where you want to. But also we won't have to revive if we don't if we don't want to. So. You know, the, the, how much that, does that matter? It's debatable, but it, it it's true. <laughs> I guess it's just the way to think about it. Debatable how much it matters, but it's a it's something that's real. It's re a real life thing. All right, um, we'll see how these guys do. Obviously, they build up. So the GT Duo, I think is, I think the team that they have overall, like the one seventy percent they give to, is better than the Boo Duo. But I would argue that the actual 30% extra that the Boo Duo give is, like, so significantly better than the 30% that the GT Duo do. I, but I do think that the GT Duo has a better kit. Reviving is significantly more useful than really anything Boo Duo has to offer. Not only that, um, GT Duo on Super Attacks, they build up damage reduction up to 50%. And that is just more useful early on than the defense stacking. The defense stacking is good, you know, if you could get it for a couple turns. But with how short these fights are, the initial turns matter significantly more than the later turns. However, uh, just like with Boo Duo, we can just get really unlucky. They could just not super attack. They could just not build up as much damage reduction as possible. And they could get wiped by normals. It's true. It's happened to me before. So that is something we need to be careful about with them but not nearly as much as we did with the boo duo so it's it's they're different but the same sort of okay um we get that i mean let's just pop this i don't think i popped this yet but i mean i don't see why not right i mean we're at the end of the fight Nah, I didn't kill. That sucks. I really wanted it to. All right. Um, what's his face he doesn't get to attack? Ultimate Gohan. He just kind of gets to sit here and be silly. Now, I'm going to turn this off, too, because we won't really need it for uh, the rest of this fight, nor will we need it for intros for Cell, because we will be just be bringing the same exact team in here. So, anyways, uh, this one's super easy. This one's a give me. Like, a give me. Like, this is the easiest stage we have to fight. It's actually just really, really easy. So, we'll, I'll see you in Cell, where we'll probably hit our first problem. Hey, guys. What, what if I told you that I've done three turns into Cell, and I just realized that, that I... Ne that, that I never, that I never, um, um, 
that, that I never unpaused the recording. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay. This is our first attempt on cell. I guess I mean you just have to believe me on this, I guess. Uh, or I could run into cell again, but I don't really want to do all that because we're already on turn four. But uh, we got in one close call. We didn't die. We're going to be able to revive now. That's kind of all I have to say, I guess. <laughs> um, unfortunate. It was kind of the best I could say. Let's watch this animation here. I know we just got back, but let's watch this animation here. Then. Oh, wow. That is, just, is beyond unfortunate. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch this. Gosh dang it. Uh, activate. All right, there we go. Uh, really, all you missed, I was like trying to think about it while we were in there. I'm like, really, all you missed was that as I was doing some pretty hard piccolo glazing. Like I was, I was glazing him pretty hard. Not gonna lie, um, cause he was he was not taking a lot of damage from the uh, cell supers. The cell supers were hitting him. He wasn't taking a lot of damage. Who took a lot of damage actually? Ultimate Gohan. He didn't nullify the super on his first appearance, so he took uh, over 300k on that hit there. Uh, no one else is really sold or anything. I'm gonna be honest. Everyone was doing pretty pretty dang good. Alright, uh, so hopefully, I mean, I wonder if we can just kill the spirit bomb or if they'll get additional super and kill. No, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like we'll kill the super bomb, uh, the spirit bomb, so that's pretty sick. Alright, yeah, let's watch that. All right, honestly, another pretty sick KO screen. I like this one quite a bit. Um, all right, there we go. That's Cell. <laughs> like you missed most of the fight, but that that was that was Cell. <laughs> okay, <I> th <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, I will see you in Goku Black, and I won't forget to unpause it this time. I swear. All right, guys, you're at the start of the Goku Black fight here. Um, Nearly perfect rotations, like exactly what I'd ask for, honestly. Oh, shoot. All right, okay. Uh, definitely turn that off. We don't need to see these intros again. Uh, I thought I'd leave it on. Uh, so I'm not running. Uh, like I said, I'm going to continue running God Goku because he does have type advantage for the second fight. And I figured that we might as well just keep uh, what we got going on here, right? So what does he get? Just fierce battle, legendary power, obviously. He gets Saiyan Warrior Race, which is an extra 10% attack. He does have our well i think it's more worth to get wor more worthwhile to get all piccolo's hits in if i'm gonna be honest um we'll grab that and then hopefully they're fine with just these orbs here not really what's more important definitely more uh important to get i think these guys super attack i'm gonna reset that i'll be right back all right, we are loading back in. So one thing I want to remember as well is, obviously I want Ultimate Gohan to get, he needs to get 24 key because he he's gonna do, he's gonna deal actually zero damage if he doesn't have 24 key. I also remember that Goku, Go, uh, what's his name? Will give, so much does that do? He, they will also get uh, two key from Piccolo, right? Um, 
So let me just check here. They get the additional super attacks with what again? Key plus two, yeah, an additional attack on hundred, second or third. Well, it's an additional attack with a great chance of becoming super attack. He's 18 or more. So they just need to get to 18 and then launch an additional 24, which we are not going to be getting, but 18 key. I mean, it doesn't really matter what Piccolo gets here then in any way, because he's not gonna be able to super to be able to get what we want with these guys. All right, perfect. Not quite, not quite 24 key. Really close though. They got really close. Unfortunately, uh, close isn't enough. <laughs> uh, but uh, they should be, they should be all right. Not being able to guarantee as many attacks as we probably want. Nice single super and nothing else. And then of course Piccolo has to eat the, the super before he's able to get hit once. Like, that couldn't have been any worse. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That could not have been any worse. I'm gonna go and add to do, I don't know, uh, let's see here, zero additional supers, wonderful. We don't want any, any damage. We don't want you to stack up at all so that you could deal damage later or be able to be, even be useful later, no, so that's fine. And then these guys only did two supers, um, we barely live, cool, at least we could revive. I mean, at least we can revive. <laughs> we really need it actually so okay we'll do this we won't watch the animation though okay um so that's seven there if we do this we could drop all the all those though yes yes six there perfect and they could get these we're gonna actually get a massive attack boost from this too all right um so they'll definitely take okay so we definitely die this rotation that's good because i was like oh man are we actually gonna be able to die like what if no, we're, we die this rotation, which is good. We, I mean, we want to revive, obviously. The one thing that sucks about this character that I haven't mentioned yet, I mean, it sucks about the Boo Duo too. It sucks for both of them, which is they, you go to their standby. If you do it early, they get zero chance to build up anything. Goku, I wish you could have dodged so we could at least get the other guys. Come on, man. Uh, this is going to skip, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it would have been so much better if we could have... <laughs> Dang it. Like I said, this is just going as wrong as it could <laughs> it's going as wrong as it could all right he'll get a super attack off that um he'll get 24 key off that and then balma will get six orbs which is just fine off that and of course some healing key support all that all right <clears throat> uh this doesn't look uh too bad honestly being able to get the revive which pretty much just undid our really unlucky turns, which is super nice. But like I was saying, is that the point that we need to revive there? I mean, okay, even if we didn't go into the revive, we died that rotation no matter what anyways, which is of course disappointing to see. But we also, you know, when they go into standby like that, and let's say God Goku dodged, and then we didn't take any more damage the rest of that turn until like uh, the GT, you know, Super Saiyan Vegeta got hit there, we would like miss out on being able to build up their damage reduction or anything which is definitely the worst part of the unit is going into the standby and then not being able to do anything. Like, not being able to build up and then they're just really late on being good enough later on is just kind of how it goes. And that's really the big problem that, that I have with this unit. But, I mean, I guess it's kind of minor in the grand scheme of things. All right, we'll do that. That is just so many orbs and they're going to just kill so much. Uh, another big problem is obviously if they're in slot three, they're not going to get a chance to really do any supers to be able to build anything up also. Uh, it's definitely not great. I'll say it. Uh, I mean, because like, I mean, God Goku, we don't really want him to do that much damage because we want him to stack. But uh, what's his name over there? Uh, 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 Super Saiyan Trio is going to be monstrous. Monstrous. They are going to cook so hard but also we want them to get some super attacks in so that they can hit a really nasty active skill hopefully next turn like hit something extra nasty so hopefully that happens there uh happens here all right um we no longer have orange piccolo's guard we no longer have Gohan's anything. Um, yeah, that sucks. Dude, why did that first turn have to be so bad? Like, 
our first two turns were beyond unlucky and it really is just setting us up for failure here and look at these orbs i mean like the, they just kind of really wanted us to lose here <laughs> i mean there's not even very much i could do i'm gonna be honest like well, what am i supposed to do at least they'll be able to super i guess i mean yeah, that just sucks. Okay, well, that's possibly the that's literally the worst possible thing that could happen. I mean, they wanted us to die this turn, obviously. No way! No way there's maintenance right now. Are you kidding me? Right now? There's not supposed to be maintenance right now? No! Until 3 in the morning? Oh, gosh. All right, I guess we're pausing this video. Oh man, see you guys tomorrow. Hey, sorry to interrupt the video, but last month, February, we had a goal to hit 5,000 subscribers and we did not hit that. So for the month of March, we now have a goal to hit, well, you guys hit 5,000 subscribers. So chances are, if you're this far in the video, you might as well as like it and you might as well subscribe and to help us reach that goal. Now let's get back to the video. All right, everyone, so we are back. Maintenance is over and it's time for us to cook. Now, uh, right before maintenance, we actually lost. So not great. Um, we were just incredibly unlucky, to be honest. Uh, let's turn these off. It looks like we... I guess we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, it's just uh, we have to kind of keep some of these guys together. It's not really a super big deal, I guess, but it can be a little annoying. All right. Um, this is, I mean, Althan's fine with that. So we got these here for physic, for God Goku here. I was about to say physical God Goku, like there's another one. All right, we're going to grab these because I don't want to take necessarily all the orbs because we do need to get some for Balma. She needs more than we're able to get here. So uh, this might just be a quick reset of the app, to be honest. All right, we are back and we're going to do these orbs just a little bit different here. Um, still, our best slot one is going to be God Goku, which is fine. So we will just grab these with him and then we will grab yeah i guess these with him leaves plenty of rainbow orbs for mom to get something yeah perfect okay eight there yeah i guess she'll just have to get eight um and just have to get eight. i mean that's plenty for her to get but that's the amount we'll give her i gotta go cool if the super is coming at you i need to dodge because you will take more damage than i thought just straight up right away he's not really a great slot one until he supers a little bit uh, but <laughs> didn't really get the chance to do that in that did way. Obviously, he has a 60% chance to dodge, which is incredibly useful, which is what makes him good. It makes him a really good character. Uh, I do see some people online arguing, who is the best TUR right now? Kod Goku. Or, I don't know, someone against him? I, I'm really not sure. But, uh, honestly, I would say that well, he is very good, I don't think he's the best TUR. If we're counting easy A's and Kefalas, just straight up. If we're not counting easy A's, then it's probably Dragon Fist Goku or Harutagarn, but I'm not sure how well Harutagarn's teams are looking now. However, fights are longer that you can get that guaranteed dodge and keep that, you know, chugging along there, right? But um, probably Dragon Fist Goku. I don't know how well he is defensively and everything. Obviously, I haven't played with him on Global, but that Scouter is incredibly useful. But honestly, I don't think any of the TURs other than Kefla are really even like that good right now anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, next turn. We have Orange Piccolo. He'll cook. It's fine. Um, I'll let him grab that. His super isn't really that important. These guys getting all those orbs is significantly more important than anything else. And they get full. Perfect. Great turn. Um, as long as super isn't right away, Piccolo's fine. Perfect. All right. Uh, you could super now. You could super the trio. I would prefer for him not to super um, those guys back there, just because. Oof. <laughs> they really depend. If they get four supers, four or five supers, then yeah, okay, they're okay to be supered. But no, I just uh, as far as tanking goes, Piccolo or these guys will just do better straight up. More than likely this turn. Maybe different, maybe maybe a little different if they were to have their full damage reduction and start getting like hits in. But I mean, these guys can cook. They got 30% damage reduction. They're gonna have insane, st uh, like stats, defense stats. So they'll they'll be fine. This is their first turn though, so they don't get like uh, too much advantage from that stacking, like four turns stacking. 
uh, attack and defense that they get on their 18 key, but still plenty fine. Sucks they didn't get super though, so let's make so hopefully this guy, this uh, friend lead, maybe cooks four supers, five supers, just kills. That would be pretty sick, if you ask me. All right, it's two supers, three supers. The the friend lead is at 30 percent damage reduction. Let's hope they could get. I mean, even if they're at 30 percent, as long as they're just taking normals, no super, they're fine. For uh, no, okay, so it's 30 percent, and that's the super. No, ooh, okay. This is so 30%, 631k. Wow. Yeah. Dang, that sucks. How much HP did that team have? Like, uh, could we have lived that up here at full HP? I'm just wondering. I'm just, I literally just want to go check quick. Uh, but yeah, this one's, this one's over. They got, they got cooked. End of the story, end of the line. I'm curious to see how much HP this one had. 690. So if we were at full health, hypothetically, we could have lived, but we weren't. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that sucks. They got lots of Goku Black. I'd argue maybe a little bit of unluckiness with where uh, attacks were placed, but that's just the world we live in. Yeah, I wish more attacks were placed towards Orange Piccolo instead, I guess. Maybe the super attack was placed earlier instead of them. Maybe if they got one more super, 40% damage reduction, plus the, you know, the, uh, the turns of, yeah, whatever. It oh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, a little bit of disappointing end to get back to after the, um, uh, what's the maintenance, but... Oh, I guess this is the way it goes. See you next time. Bye-bye.